Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at some experimental stuff that's going to be coming to Yuzu and by the time this video is released, will most likely already be merged to the Canary versions of this emulator. So this new experimental version adds what is called DMA Flush, which basically is just going to improve how 2D and 3D textures are rendered in our games. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how much improvement Octopath Traveler has seen when using this new fix. So let's just boot our game and wait for it to load and we're going to take a look at how much render quality has improved in this title. As you can see, in these background images, everything is still pink and we are still going to get messed up icons for the Unreal Engine logo. And the next one is also, yeah, the Cryware one is also completely messed up. However, when we get to the main menus of Octopath Traveler, you can now see that with this new experimental PR, fonts are now being correctly rendered as well as accurately represented graphics in the background. Now, you can see that they are slightly discolored and we can actually fix them right now. So if we come up to the emulation tab, we come to configure, we come over to the graphics tab and we turn on use accurate frame buffers, click this, turn it on and click OK and you can now see that Octopath Traveler's graphics in its main title menu are absolutely perfectly rendered exactly like they are on the Nintendo Switch. Also, performance-wise, we're running anywhere between around 24 and 28 frames per second, meaning that we are nearly hitting the frame cap of 30 FPS in this title on this Nintendo Switch emulator. So not everything is rendered perfectly and I'm just going to be showing you some of the other menus in this game so that in future when they improve them I can do a comparison and show you that they have indeed improved them. So first of all let's come to the settings menu and you will see that while the fonts are now correctly rendered there is still some garbled textures and not everything is rendered correctly here at all. On a side note, there are also some fairly weird input issues. For example, you see when I'm navigating, it seems like I'm having difficulty getting to the different tiles. Let's just come to new game and you may also see that when I'm trying to navigate around here, it's like the sensitivity is being doubled or something. I know I'm running at 60 FPS and it is technically double the frame rate of this game. So maybe that is the issue in itself. You can also see in this screen that the fonts are correctly rendered, even though the background graphics are still slightly garbled. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to this continue screen where you can also see we have seen a massive improvement. Even with our pink background, we have all of the fonts correctly rendered, showing you the different areas you're loaded into and the different times of your saves. So I'm just going to load into this game save and show you what graphics are now like in game and show you exactly what is stopping us from progressing any further in this title. In game, this is basically what our graphics are like as of right now. So if we wait a few seconds and if I move around slightly, you can see I'm moving in the bottom right hand corner, we are going to get locked on this screen. So in the bottom right hand corner, when we hit an autosave, I believe that this is what is causing the crashes in Octopath Traveler, both in the main game and in the prologue demo. This is the exact same thing that happens. So rather than the fact that it's not rendered graphics, which obviously we have issues with, it does indeed seem that this crashing issue, at least in Octopath Octopath Traveler, and most likely happens in other games also, is occurring due to the fact that we have most likely got an unimplemented function for some kind of save system. Now, hopefully this isn't too tricky to implement and hopefully they can also do some more implementations and get the in-game rendered graphics fixed also. So this new PR didn't just fix Octobath Traveler, it has also given us several other fixes in other titles. One title of note that you guys are aware of already is One Piece Unlimited World Red. Previously in Yuzu Emulator, when there would be any overlaid 2D images, the 3D graphics in the background would no longer be rendered. This new experimental PR completely fixes this issue. While yes, this new PR does fix lots and lots of issues in games, it does unfortunately also bring with it some problems. For example, sticking to One Piece Unlimited World Red, this PR has introduced these weird rendered lines on some of the character models' faces. Having talked to some of the developers of Yuzu over on their Discord, they have made me aware of the fact that they themselves are aware of these issues and that they should be fixed very, very soon. 
This experimental PR itself is just one of many that are going to fix several rendering issues in many games on Yuzu Emulator itself, so make sure to keep your eyes peeled on the channel for more improvements in future. Once again guys, cheers for checking out this video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.